retired Sergeant Lane Morris joins us now live from St. George, Utah. He was blinded in one eye during the firefight where Omar Cotter was captured. And uh, we get his reaction to this decision here. What is uh, your response, Sergeant Morris, to hear that Omar Cotter has been granted bail? Oh, I, I just I find that judge's ruling to be uh, silly to the point of outrageous. Even though um, Omar Cotter has has admitted to uh, serious crimes, as the judge says, and so why you would want to let somebody uh, out into the public who has who has admitted to serious crimes uh, while you await while you await appeal is just uh, staggering to me. Well, his lawyer Dennis Edney, who we spoke with earlier, uh, is arguing that Omar Cotter admitted to these things under duress under by being tortured. So they're fighting that now. And it seems like this is uh, going to continue. The Canadian government is going to appeal this bail. Uh, but he could be released. The conditions could be put out as of as of May 5th and, and he could be out. So wh what runs through your mind when you hear that? Now, Omar Cotter has never been tortured. Um, has Omar Cotter spent time in a prison under l less than cush cushy conditions absolutely that's what that's what prison is but omar cotter is, has undergone no torture um omar cotter has not made any any uh, admissions under duress he freely and of his own free will as he stated and as his attorney stated was simply getting this out on the record so that his his uh, uh process a uh, judicial process could move forward um it's just it's it's further evidence that uh, Omar Cotter is, and his attorneys are expert at moving through the legal system and simply picking and choosing the decisions that they think are most favorable to them and then simply uh, discounting completely any decision or any court proceeding that isn't um, just to be able to lie in an open court, just bald faced lie as they admit oh, no, we weren't telling the truth then because it, it didn't work out well for us. Now we'll really tell the truth. Um, it's, it's just uh, an outrage um, to any kind of judicial fairness or uh, sanctity that uh, we have come to expect in Western society. What would be judicial fairness? I think judicial fairness has occurred. Omar Cotter had a trial. He was found guilty. And he was convicted and sentenced to, I don't know what it was, 45 years in jail. He ought to be serving those 45 years in jail. That's what's fair to me. He had a shot. He brought his, his witnesses. Um, all the evidence was produced from both sides. And, uh, and there was a decision rendered. Well, that's judicial fairness. Now, I understand you, you filed a lawsuit uh, and you were granted, what, uh, more than $100 million? Where do things stand there? Uh, uh, we are yet to collect any of those funds. Is that that's the simplest way to put it? Is, is, are you pursuing it? I'm not. I, I don't, uh, you know, I think about Omar Cotter when uh, the good folks in Canadian media call me. So I don't know. I don't expect to ever collect on those, uh, on that money. Um, it was a, it was designed, the lawsuit was designed to prevent uh, Omar Cotter, his father, and those like him from using, utilizing Western society and banking methods from transferring their terrorist-related funds all over the world to, uh, to promote global jihad. And so uh, the lawsuit was, first and foremost, was uh, to put them on notice that they weren't going to be able to use Western society to promote their jihad. And then if there was uh, actually any funds that were ever recovered to be able to help Chris Spears' uh, wife and children. Mm -hmm. Yes, it was it was you and uh, Chris Spears' wife. I want to ask you as well, Sergeant Lane, bef uh, Sergeant Morris. Before we go, uh, you, you said that it's when we call you that uh, that you address this. I mean, how are you living uh, with this after that firefight? I'm I'm doing just fine. I I've still got uh, a, a wife and kids and a house and a job and bills to pay and. Uh, you know, you, you, there, there's a good reason the good Lord gave you two eyes, I guess. Uh, and uh, the other one I got seems to be working just fine. All right, Sergeant Morris, we appreciate you making time for us today then. Thank you. 
No problem. Thanks for having me. That's retired Sergeant Lane Morris joining us from St. George, Utah. He was blinded in one eye during the same firefight where Omar Cotter was captured.